Hey guys, welcome back to this video. In this case, I will be helping you to install, in this case, install and also configure the user for this amazing game that you will have on the title. So, in this case, I will be showing you the basic configuration that you still need to be able to run this game and also how to configure the user to be able to run the game without any issues. So, in this case, uh, the first step will be to load the user emulator for the reason we have to go to Google and then type Jusu. So in the Jusu search we have to go to the downloads and then to the download for Windows. Press that one and then go to gallery and save <coughs> the install of Jusu. If you don't have the Microsoft Visual C++ you also can download that here. So after that we have the Juice Installator over here and we only have to double click that to open the installator. So in this case, since I already have the Juice installed on my computer, you don't need to me to do the installation, but in this case you will have a window like this. You only have to do the install process. I will be rest of day, but you have instead a button that says install. So just press install and there you are, the juice will be installed on your computer. And then press exit. So after you install Jusu, we need to download these additional files that will be help us to run the game without any issues. You will have this link on the comment box and you only have to download and then extract the files here. And we have these two folders, the folder key and the firmware key. So the first step will be copy the keys that will be have on this one and then open Yuzu. So after Yuzu it's open we only have to go to the file tab open Yuzu folder and then keys folder and paste the key that we have over there that we copy. So the next step will be open the fear one folder Select all the files that is under this folder and copy the files and then go back to Yuzu. Go back to the file tab, open Yuzu folder and then go to the NAN folder, then to the system folder, the content folders and the last one register folder. We have to paste all the files that we already copy and then replace the files on the dissertation. After that, we already have the firmware installation and the product keys on our emulator. So the next step will be just add the game. So for the reason, you have to go to the add new game directory and then search the folder that you have your game. On my case, I have my games of Switch here. You have to select folder and then you will have a list like this too, with all the games that you already have. So in this case, since this game has some DLC and also some updates, we have to go to File, Install, Files to NAND, and then go to where we have our <coughs> update and DLC. In this case, I have my update here. We only have to have clip and then open, install, and wait a few minutes while the installation is on process. So wait a few seconds and there you are. I have the update installed and then go again to file install files to NAND and go to the DLC and open all the DLC and install. And there you are, I have my game with the DLC and the date installed. You can see here, just press on the right click and properties and then go to the add-ons tab and you will see the DLC and the data. So the next step will be configure the emulator to be able to run the game without any issues. For the reason we have to go to emulation tab and then to the configure part and we have this window. In this part of the window, we only have to go to system, on language, set your preferred language. In this case, my preferred language will be Latin American Spanish, on region, USA, you can select the region that you are. And then on core part, you have to 
select the multi-core CPU emulation. Over here we have the profiles, I recommend just to personalize the profile that you use to make sure that it will be a personal experience. After that we have to go to the CPU part and then on accuracy set to automatic and then on the graphics part this is an important part of the tutorial science this is the way that the game will be running without any issues if you make the correct configuration so in this case on the api part of the and emulator we have to select bootcamp only if you have a good graphics cards in this case only will be works on nvidia or mmd graphics cards if you have like an intel card i recommend to use a opengl or if you have an old nvidia graphics cards i also recommend to use opengl after that on device you have to make sure that your graphics card is selected over here in this case is my nvidia graphics cards on graphics settings i recommend to use use the xpplink cache use asynchronic gpu decoding method use a gpu on basic this is not an important setting so i recommend to turn off to have better uh, emulation processes so on emulation we use gpu video decoding on full screen i recommend to use red window but if you want you can use the exclusive full screen that will be give you like two or one fps more on aspect radio that will be depending on the aspect radio of your monitor i prefer to use default that my monitor is on this aspect on resolution that also is a really important part of the tutorial you have to select the resolution that will be depending on your graphic card if you have a low graphics card i recommend to use x1 or lower resolutions to make sure that the game will be run without any issues and if you have a really good graphics card you can also try it with these configurations to have better graphics process times a uh, low uh, highest resolution you will lose performance i will be using 2x to have a good graphics resolution and windows adaptive filter i recommend always to use an md flatic super resolution and an antilasian method i recommend to use fxaa and fr sharpness i recommend to use 80 percent to have a good graphics and performance and then on the advanced tab i recommend to use in a cursor level high and ancient trophy filtering the highest one if you have a good graphics card but if you have a normal computer with a normal graphic card i recommend to use default or automatic in recompensation method i recommend to use compressed but if you are having issues emulating the game i recommend to use all lower quality or medium quality you can also try to see what works better for you and on the last part use this true one only if you have using the Vulkan api in this case in the asynchronous presentation for the maximum docs and use Vulkan pipeline cache only if you are using the api Vulkan and if you are not using Vulkan you only have to use enable retic flushing use asynchronic shallow billing and use fast gpu time and better feedback loops then uh, we have the audio configuration i prefer to leave everything on automatic that works without any issues and then in control you will have the part to configure your input mode in this case i use a, a, an xbox one controller to have a better experience but also it will be working with a nintendo switch pre controller or a dual sense controller that is the, the one that is on the ps5 in this case i already have my controller configured so it will be no issue here i always recommend to use the pro controller one to have better compatibility with all the games so after all the process is configured we have to press ok and then launch the game so we'll be loading my game that is sonic superstar you'll be find all the information on the comment to be able to run the game as also the additional file will be on your <coughs> comment pin okay so with a few seconds wait the game is launching okay i will be closing this one
and there you are, that is the game running without any issues on Yuzu. So in this case, if you have any dupes, any process, you can leave the comments and I'll be more than happy to help you to resolve all the inquiries that you have about this emulation process. So thank you so much for watching the video and also if you have any process, please let me know and we will be more than happy to help you to resolve it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye.